I have made a lot of mistakes using Notion, building in Notion, my setup in Notion, it has changed drastically over the two plus years using it. What I thought I'd do in this video is share some of the big mistakes that I've made and some of the mistakes I still see people making when starting in Notion, just so that you could sort of avoid the same sort of hurdles that I went over. When it comes to setting up your space, having dashboards and databases as two separate things can be really, really powerful. So in my space, I have dashboards, which are pages. So I'm using pages for dashboards, i.e. displaying different information. Then I'm using databases to store that information. So instead of using individual pages to store information, I'm using databases to store information, and then I'm using a page, i.e. a dashboard page, to surface all the information that I need in that context. Previously, I had loads and loads of pages, my sidebar was massive, and then I was struggling to find all the information that I needed because it was in pages all over the place. So now what I do is I have a dashboard page with databases showing the relevant information because I've added filters and sorts to show me the information for that context. The second thing is a task database. Now, if you're not using Notion for massive task management, then you can just use simple to-do blocks. But for me, I plan out almost everything I do in Notion. And I did have different task databases, so different task lists for different areas. And I was finding I was duplicating different tasks and I was forgetting tasks because I didn't look at that specific area. So instead, I have a master task database, just one database, and then I can filter for all of the tasks in the dashboards when I need to. What this also allows me to do is I can have the same task. So I could have script, script, audio, audio, but they are related to different projects. Now, this is going outside of just task management, but tasks and projects together, it means I can have tasks in one database sorted in one way, in one space, in one context, and they are all related to different projects. So even though it's one task list, it's functioning as five, 10, 15 different task lists because they are tagged with different areas and projects. The third mistake I kept making was I used to think that a calendar was its own thing. I didn't really acknowledge or realize that a database and a calendar, they're exactly the same thing. So I had my task list and I had my calendar and they were two separate things. Now, again, going back to that second point, they are two different task lists. One of them is a calendar. One of them is a, a list view but the list view could be a calendar. So understanding that, understanding calendars are not their own thing. Calendars are a database. They're just a view of a database. Helped me understand that I can have a task list, so my one task database, and view that as a calendar. And going through my space, that's pretty much what I do. I will have my task list on my main dashboard, that one main dashboard page, and then I will have calendar views of that task list in different contexts so I can see what's going on in the week, in the day, in the month. But it means I don't have to have different databases for my calendars and for my lists, just by understanding that a calendar is a database. Now, this next thing you can kind of get out of control in some ways and make too many templates. But to start with, I didn't, I didn't make any templates. I used the template button, but that's not quite the same as making a template in a database. So if you do decide to go down the master task database route, because you're going to manage your tasks in Notion, making templates saves so much time. Even the smallest thing of adding an emoji or an icon to that task saves so much time. So in my task database, I have different templates. Some literally just add an icon on it. Others are much more complicated in the task database and they add in a notes database that is filtered for the task. So that's self-referencing filters. So it saves me the time of making the database, filtering the database. I can just click the template. There you go, there's the icon, there's the database, there's the filter, and there's the tag for the task. Everything is done for me. Now in my projects database, I actually have templated tasks in there. So I don't have to do anything when I start a project other than drag the tasks and put them in my task list. 
And that saves me so much time that I feel like I'm almost cheating at, at management because it's so automatic, it's so systemized, and the workflow is so quick. So I can plan out an entire month of content. So that is three videos a week, seven blog posts a week, seven LinkedIn posts a week, seven Instagram posts a week, seven Facebook posts a week, all within a couple of minutes because of the templates. It makes life so much quicker. Now, the next thing sounds a little bit obvious, but learn the app. And to start with, when I was using Notion, I was exploring a little bit and there weren't that many videos out there when I was first learning it because there was just Marie and um, Keep Productive. That, that was pretty much it. But learning the app not only helped me obviously do what I'm doing now and help other people learn the app, but it also helped me understand what I could do with it. Notion isn't like other apps where you go, this is the box that you can work within. These are the things you can do. Go play. Notion is a, these are loads of blocks and databases and pages you can play with. Figure out what works for you. Figure out how you can make it work for you. And if you don't understand the app or you don't learn some of the, the small things about the app, like my tab bar, if I didn't know that you could put links on emojis, the tab bar wouldn't be a thing. If I didn't know that I could make a global block in Notion so I can put that tab bar in all of my areas so that it changes automatically, I wouldn't have done it. It wouldn't have become a thing. So learning the app, learning some of the small nuances about the app has given me the ability to do what I want. No, I don't use all of the things that I've learned about the app. There's actually quite a lot of stuff that I know Notion can do that I just don't use. It's just not in my workflow. But I know you can do it, which means when something comes up, I can potentially use that to solve a problem I have in the future. If you're interested to hear more about Notion and how I use it to manage my digital life, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.